Hi guys and welcome to my market review. Today is July 1st, 2022 and today we are going to be going over SGDJ, the Sprott Junior Gold Miners ETF. About SGDJ, Sprott Junior Gold Miners seeks investment results that correspond before fees and expenses to the performance of its underlying index, the Selective Junior Gold Miners Custom Factor Index, symbol SOL, J G M F T. Its index is the Selective Junior Gold Miners. Categories are materials, sector gold miners. It was introduced in March 31st, 2015. And currently the fund managers are Ryan Mishker and Andrew Hicks of seven and six years. And below you can see the link to the uh, website there where you can learn all about it. Diving into the prospectus, the fund employs a passive management or indexing investment approach designed to track the performance of the underlying junior gold miners index. The underlying junior gold miners index aims to track the performance of junior gold companies primarily located in the United States, Canada, and Australia, whose common stock, American depository receipts, or global depository receipts, are traded on a regular stock regulated stock exchange in the form of shares, tradable for foreign investor, investors without any restrictions. Junior companies include early stage mining companies that are in the exploration stage only or that hold properties that might not ultimately produce gold. Most of these companies are in the development and exploration phase and are on the lookout for land with higher chance for uncovering large mineral deposits. The underlying Junior Gold Miners Index is compiled by the Selective uh, AG, the index provider. Principal investment risks. Gold and silver mining industry risk is the number one. The fund is sensitive to changes in and its performance will depend to a greater extent on the overall condition of the gold and silver mining industry. In times of stable economic growth, traditional equity and debt investments could offer greater appreciation, potential, and the value of gold and silver and other precious metals may be adversely affected, which could in turn affect the fund's return. The gold and precious metals industry can be significantly affected by competitive pressures, central bank operations, events relating to international political developments, the success of exploration projects, commodity prices, adverse environmental developments, and tax and government regulations. These are some additional risks continued. Um, relationship to gold and silver risk, market risk, authorized participation, concentration risk, currency risks. Uh, you can see foreign investment risks, index management risks, liquidity risks, all the standard risks that you could uh, typically uh, expect. SGD Day current stats as of July 1st, 2022 has a current market price of $28.11, uh, which is below its 200 day moving average of $39.74. It's approximately 41% below. It has a 52 week trading range between $27.99 and a high of $47.49. The total asset center management are $108 million. It has a net expense ratio of 0.5%. One month returns negative 19.5%. Year to date return is minus 29.39%. One year return is minus 31.80%. And it is options enabled. SGDJ performance. The distribution yield, TTM, is the measurement of cash flow paid by an exchange traded fund, real estate investment trust, or another type of income paying vehicle. Rather than calculating the yield based on the aggregate of distributions, the most recent distribution is annualized and divided by the net asset value of the security at the time of the payment. SGDJ has a, D, a distribution yield of 2.56%. It has a price to earnings ratio of 9.67. It has an annual dividend yield of 3.12%. The X dividend date is December 15th of 2022. The 60 month beta is 1.04 and it has an implied volatility of 46.13%. SGDJ top 10 holdings. SGDJ holds 43 companies in total, the top 10 being Linden Gold at 6.4%, Koza Alton 
is Isil Telmiri at 6.18%, Perseus Mining 6.0%, Oceana Gold Corp at 5.76%, Wild Dome Gold Mines at 5.58%, Equinox Gold Corp at 5.5%, West African Resources at 4.29%, 4.92%, Seabridge Gold Inc. at 4.8%, Soul Gold at 4.82%, and Pan African Resources at 4.29%. SGDJ Geographic Footprint approximately 46% of its exposure is Australian companies, 39% Canadian companies, 5.9% Turkish companies, 3.9% Peruvian companies, 3.8% United Kingdom. 0.7% in the United States and 0.4% Jersey. And thank you guys for taking some time to learn a little bit more about this company and this investment product. Uh, as a disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Do not take anything on YouTube as financial advice. Please do your own research. Consult a professional investment advisor before making any investment decisions. My YouTube analysis is for entertainment purposes only. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment below about your thoughts on SGDJ. See you in the next market review. Thank you.